friends welcome back to civil engineering mastery as we all know that in reinforced cement concrete structures concrete and reinforced steel are the two major materials which we use that material has to carry the load which is coming on the structure also it provide the shape to the structure as we all know that the structural elements are slab beam column footing so by using these structural elements we give the shape of the structure so it is very important to use the proper grade of materials for example we consider concrete we have many grades like m20 m30 m40 and similarly steel we have many grades fe415 500 550 and so on so among these all grades how do we select the respective grade of concrete and steel for the proposed structure so in this video let's discuss brief about this how do we select the proper grade of concrete and grade of steel for the structure i hope you all enjoy this video so with that said let's begin now first let's begin with concrete grade so on what basis we need to select the concrete grade the first one is structural design requirement so this is very very important one so according to the load coming on the structure and whether the concrete we are providing has to capable of carrying the load which is coming on the structure so according to that we need to select the concrete grade so that comes under structural design requirements next one is environmental exposure this is explained clearly in is 456 2000 according to the environmental exposure we need to select the concrete grade and next one is site requirement last one is quality of the raw materials quality of raw material includes the quality of cement quality of fine aggregate quality of coarse aggregate even quality of water so the quality of material enhances the quality of concrete mix so that is also very important so these are all comes under quality of raw materials so minimum grade of concrete used for reinforced concrete structure is m20 this is the minimum grade of concrete which we need to use for rcc structures in is 456 2000 table 2 grades of concretes are given they have categorized into three one is ordinary concrete second one is standard concrete third one is high strength concrete so in ordinary concrete we have m10 m15 and m20 standard concrete m25 to m55 high strength concrete m60 to m80 as we have discussed before m20 is the minimum grade of concrete which we need to use for rcc construction so here in the designation concrete mix m refers to the mix and the number to the specified compressive strength of 150 mm size cube at 28 days expressed in newton per millimeter square for concrete compressive strength greater than m55 design parameters given in the standard may not be applicable and the values may, not, may be obtained from specialized literatures and experimental results so for high strength concrete we need to do the specialized literatures and experimental results so the standard design parameters are not applicable for high strength concrete similar to table 2 we have minimum cement content water cement ratio and minimum grade of concrete in table 5 of is 456 2000 so here environmental exposure conditions are given mild moderate severe very severe and extreme so for these conditions we need to go for this grade of concrete so minimum this much grade we need to use for this environmental exposure conditions for example if it is a moderate condition then we have to go for m25 we cannot use m20 over there if it is very severe then we need to use m35 as we know we have three categories ordinary concrete standard concrete and high strength concrete so the mix ratios are given here for m10 ratios are 148 m15 136 and m20 124 m25 112 if you notice the mix proportions so whenever the grades are getting increased the ratios are getting decreased see the m10 is having 148 when the grade is getting increased the ratio is getting decreased similar manner m20 is 1 to 4 and m25 is 1 is to 1 is to 2 and above m25 grade of concrete we have to do the mix design to arrive the proportions mix proportions here m30 and m40 are the characteristic compressive strength of concrete we have two types of concrete one is nominal mix that is used for small scale construction the grades are m20 and m25 these comes under nominal mix category standard and high strength concrete are used for large scale construction the grade of concrete is m30 and above 
so whenever we go for small story buildings in that case we have to use the grade of concrete as m20 and m25 if it is a large scale construction we need to go for m30 and above grade of concrete so so the grade of concrete mainly depends upon the structural design requirements when we go for high rise construction obviously the load will become more in that case we need to in that case we need to go for higher grade of concrete next let's discuss about steel grade we have line bars are mild steel bars which looks like this and even we have deformed bars which will be having ribs or lugs that increase the bond between steel and concrete that ribs or lugs increase the bond between steel and concrete when compared to plain bar or mild steel bars in steel grade fy represents the characteristic strength of steel or yield strength of steel which is represented in newton per millimeter square so for plain bar or mild steel bar the grade will be fe250 here fe is the iron and 250 is the yield strength so this plain bar or mild steel bar fe250 grade of steel is rarely used due to its low strength we have high yield strength deformed bars that is hysd bars fe415 fe415d fe415s fe500 fe500d fe500s fe550 fe550d fe600 so here d represents the high ductility value so whenever the earthquake prone zones or earthquake resistant structures we need to design in that case when we need to ductile detailing and all in that place we need to use this kind of high strength deformed bars so this fe 500s is mainly used for earthquake prone areas tmt bar represents the thermo mechanically treated bars so now we know what are all the grade of concrete and what are all the steel grades are available even steel grade depends upon the load and the percentage of steel minimum and maximum percentage of reinforcement as per is code so higher the design load higher the percentage of reinforcement so if we have the higher percentage of reinforcement and we need to reduce the reinforcement percentage then we need to increase the grade of concrete and grade of steel then the percentage of reinforcement get reduced so it's all depends upon the load which is coming on the structure so based on that we need to choose the concrete grade and steel grade friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome if you like the content please do share it with your friends and hit the like button also don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching